this video is sponsored by one expert go to www.onexpert.com and register with our promo code ff tribe that's ff T R I B E and enjoy 300% bonus on your first deposit. Meaning, say if you put 1,000, they give you extra 3,000. You now have 4K. Enjoy the best odds in the game. Man of God from the altar to the view center and 23 points. <laughs> your thoughts on the Man, play nonsensically and win ugly. What it actually mean is play ugly and win ugly. The better team lost the match. It was, I, if this, the pressure was so much, I was even saying that the match should have been ended from the first time. After I was caught that first goal, Leeds took over every side. The midfield of Arsenal wasn't working. Arsenal wins, we are, on, we are not working. Arsenal defence, this, this today match was G3. So it was a, a strong match from Leeds United. And we've known that going to Ellen Road and picking three points is a very, yeah. It's a very uh, difficult thing to do. It's just like going to Sellers Park. But I thank God that at the end of the day, it was worth watching. It was worth the why. I'm happy. And thank God today is Sunday. And then Gabriel almost <laughs> handing over the game to Leeds United. But then at the end, VAR check and it was cancelled. To me, um, Gabriel uh, is not, uh, not a disciplined player. Why would I say he's not a disciplined discipline player? If they had given Leeds that, that penalty, there is no chance of Arsenal coming back to win this match. It was something, it was, it was, it, that drop was, it doesn't make, the goalkeeper was with the ball. It's not as if the man was with the ball or intending to get the ball. There was no need for that uh, uh, moment of madness. Even if you want to be mad, mad be mad outside it. It's not in the 18-yard ball. So to me, thank God that the, the ref had to go and check the VAR. But to me, that should have given Gabriel a red card. Because he kicked out. Yeah. Well, let's say he no touch him. He kicked out and aiming at the ribs of the man. It was, it was a moment of madness and he would have cost us the three points. And I don't think I would have been able to forgive him because it's one of the weak links I, we have been complaining that we have in the uh, central defence. If you cannot do your job of defending the team, don't give us issues going forward. So Gabriel, it, it, was, it was a childish, childish uh, moment. Thank God I've gotten the three points in the bag, but Ateta should sit him down and talk to him. It was needless foul, needless reaction. The man has pushed you, he has pushed you. It's okay, but the man was not close to the ball. Let it go. It was madness. And then Esaka, the winning goal today, scored, uh, I think he scored midweek to Abi, yes. uh, even if it was <laughs> a lucky goal, but starting to pick form, right? Uh, starting to pick form, you know, one thing about, I like about this Arsenal team this season is the electrifying nature of the wings. It's that we're doing the uh, Liverpool game, uh, Martinelli's wing was the, 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 the source of getting the win. The oil pipeline. The pipeline. That was Martinelli's week. So Asna was drilling the oil from that uh, Arnott area last last week. But coming to this week, we all know that the the man playing with uh, Martinelli, Aronson, the defense was so choked that before he gets the ball, every coach reads this football. And that's why I would say Ateta should keep tweaking his his tactics, keep tweaking his players. Because if any coach who has, like what Jesse Marsh did today, he read the match, I know in full weather, we had more threat coming from that left-hand side where Martinelli plays. So what did he do? He had to cage Martinelli. And since Martinelli could not come into the game, Gabriel Jesus was just a passerby in the match. So what did Arsenal do? I just believe that goal was just a lucky goal. It wasn't because apart from what Saka, that goal that Saka scored, there was nothing exceptional. The least defense was able to cage the Arsenal attack, and that was what went up for them. Since the Arsenal attack could not move, Arsenal defense totally collapsed. So there was so much pressure coming to the defense of Arsenal. So I think Jesse March, I gave him the thumbs up. He read the match very well. He knew what to do and to put Arsenal on that check. Sometimes uh, the stuff of champion is not every time you play so fantastic. Win ugly. The day that it doesn't come for you, for you to play your normal football, can you come out from the blues to win the match? And that's what Arsenal had done. If you watch Manchester City, when they won the league, there are some matches they, 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 they didn't play anything, but they just looked for a way to skew out the wins, and they got the win. Thank God we have played uh, 10 matches, and we have won 9 out of 10. It's a team under progression. We are still progressing. 
I can't wait for on the 6th of November, where we are going to play with Chelsea. I know if we ask Nasi have four away matches to play. As I have four straight away matches to play. So I just pray that the team keep keeping up. Thank God for today. I, I, I congratulate all the Arsenal fans all over the world. We are doing something good. I predicted from the beginning of the season that three, ten, ten straight matches wins. But thank God that we have gotten nine out of ten. Congratulations. We are still praying. We are still believing God that He will make injuries not to affect the team. We are going for, for this thing. Uh, Man City is going to lose today. So it's going to be a point. You know what I'm saying before I round off? You know what it means when Man City breathes down your neck? That pressure, I've not seen... A wolf, they push. No, teams, teams can't actually, most teams can't stand the pressure. When Man City, is, it's better they are leading you than they are coming from your back. So, thus far, with Man City being behind us, Arsenal has been able to com be composed and they have taken their own. They have, they have not let uh, lose guard. So, congrats to all Arsenal people. We should be ready for anything this season. Thank you. That's all. Football fans tribe here with the interview Nigeria football fans after matches. I'll be giving Nigeria football fan content back to back. So if you're new, I beg, click that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching.